Hello and welcome to ARCA at Lucas Oil Raceway, also known as IRP, Indianapolis Way Park. Excuse me a moment, public chat while I do my intro. Should have, sorry, should have uh, been more prepared. I also had to adjust my volume there. But uh, we've got ourselves an okay split here today. We are the number five. 20 cars on track. Uh, it's my off day from work today, so not 11 p.m. or later for once. A uh, couple names I recognize in here. Got Jordan. I remember seeing him in Gavin and Nick's race. And uh, I don't know. I'm not too good here, I don't think. Uh, missing a little bit of pace. Not too unusual on a short track, but I'm I'm at least feeling pretty stable. I don't feel all over the place or completely uncomfortable like I normally am on short tracks. Um, I did do a race on the same night I did that beat, my first beat open race of the week that I didn't record. It was one of those cases, too much commotion going on around out here, so didn't record that one. Let me focus up here a bit. Green flag. Okay, here comes your first time black. Fastest lap for I need all the focus I can get. <laughs> Fastest lap for Hughes, 22.8. Yeah, I'm just missing a lot of pace here. It's probably too low. One more lap. That's alright. Seems like I got an okay lap in. About as good as I can hope for. P9. Your lap time was 22.9. Uh, so slow. Um. Like I said, I did do a race already. Uh, it had Justin Yee in it, who's a wizard with the Arca car. Um, I chatted with him just a little bit. He gave me the tip to use this line down here and drive it like Dover is how he described it. Which really seemed to work okay in the race. And uh, I at least feel like I can keep this thing stable. I tried to push a little bit there for qualifying, but still slow, so... You saw that was about, well, that was my best lap, apparently, and I'm ninth, so not great on pace, but we'll see what we can do anyway. Um, I don't know, I'm just, I'm missing some speed, I, I uh, don't have it quite figured out, maybe <laughs> do something crazy, maybe I could have done for qualifying here and done like a slider line. not looking like it was going to do anything for me. Maybe I'm breaking too hard. No, I don't know, man. I just don't have this figured out. No matter what I try, it seems like I'm just missing a bunch of speed. So I'm not going to set my expectations too high for this race. Uh, top 10 I'd be pretty thrilled with, honestly, especially starting 9th, and uh, not, in, uh, not in the weakest field here, so. I will take it, if I can get a top 10. Yeah, it just feels like I'm so bogged down by the time I get to the exit of the corner. Shift it. That's not going to be the way to go. Oh my god, my cat's freaking out. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to record. What are you doing? He's doing the idiot run across the living room. But I guess we'll pull over here. We're going to get kicked out soon anyway. What are you doing? Oh my god. It's like running into the walls. Man, this isn't the commotion I was talking about, but we just... Hey! Calm down. What are you doing? Stop. No. What? What is your problem? I'm sorry. I got it. Calm down. Right now. I don't know what his problem is. But honestly, I was feeling like maybe that was a little bit too low brake bias. I don't know. I've been back and forth on this thing. I just, I can't figure out where I'm missing the speed. But I don't got lots of chat going on. What are we talking about? Now he's like licking my tea bottle. Get out of here. It's 
being a real weirdo. All right. So, P9. That's where we ended up. And everyone real close, it looks like. That is unneeded. I guess they know each other, unless that guy's just being a bully. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> yeah, P9. I'm a little nervous about this one, to be honest. I need to update you that he stayed the hell away from me. I don't know why. Last lap. I'm a 1.65 safety rating, so I get four I'm done. And then I'm taking everybody out. Yeah, no doubt, Mark. Uh, wonder why it's a 1.65. No, that's a deal, probably didn't help. Yeah, definitely not. Looking right, I know what's going for it. 9-9, going into Richmond. Now have 237 or 275 out there. In his defense, I think he saw me down on a pit entry and he yanked the wheel and got up into it. I'm yeah, seeing some, some, some concerning things and hearing some concerning things. Well, no, I'm pretty sure he's aiming for you to realize he's like the car went off. Make him laugh. Make him laugh. He's going to take it off. Alright. Pit road is closed. Alright. It's a second gear start, I'm pretty sure. Or wait, do I? I don't, I don't, remember. I don't remember actually. Friggin it's the first gear. Black flag and qualifying. So. It's pretty short. I think we'll go second gear. Honest question: Why is the RPM gauge in this car upside down? Joe Biden. It was set up for Australian. Mm. Make people like you ask questions. Bunch of comedians in here. So when you flip Sound like me trying to be funny. I believe it's upside down because the wheel block a lot. Are you gonna make me this nervous in the race too, Dominic? Top of the RPM range through the wheel. Yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, <laughs> do our best here. Outside lane's probably gonna be pretty fast off the start. I'm actually just gonna try to talk to him. Outside line didn't go at all. Of course, the inside line didn't go all that much either. See some looseness up ahead. Outside. Clear up top. Clear up top. Or so I'm told. V8. Alright, so far so good. But we haven't gotten so far yet, so. Seeing some guys getting loose on exit, not too surprising. Probably what you want to be doing to get the right rear used up, rather than the right front. It's going to be very difficult to pass here, because you can hold your own in that middle lane or in the high lane pretty darn equal, so... Get a run. Can we do anything with it? Kind of uses up that second. I don't know. It can be hard to pass. Falling behind a little bit here. Um, I don't know if it's just my pace or if uh, I'm being held up by the seven. Kind of hard to tell when you're kind of following someone. We got side by side up ahead. That's a little concerning. They're really close to each other. And 
Alright. Pretty good though, so far. Up ahead. Thought we might see some messy stuff. But, pretty good so far. Got some space behind, which is very nice. such a handful. Definitely a race where your hands hurt at the end of it because you're really holding on tight. Oh, a little bit of wall there for the guy ahead. probably be a little more aggressive on throttle on exit. It's just so scary. It's so easy to break loose. It's kind of one of those snap break looses too where you, it's hard to see coming. It's kind of doing like a diamond line so that's a little bit concerning if I'm trying to roll the middle lane like I did that, fi that last couple corners. I really work the throttle here to get it where you need it to go. Makes it pretty fun. It is fun to drive. I'm just not too good at it, I don't think. <laughs> that was a 23.3. Lap times are pretty consistent. Right now we've got a very uh, single file line going on here, it looks like. For the most part. Didn't have a very good exit there. That lap was a 23.4. Lots of room behind. I don't know if they had trouble or something. I wasn't quite that big of a distance recently. I feel like they lost a lot of space all of a sudden. Maybe something happened. have quite the pace as the guys ahead, I don't think. I'm trying to keep up. It's just a talent thing, though. Like, I... It's not the tires, I don't think. It's not anything related to the car. I think I just... I'm not quite uh, clicking with this track. Right away. I need lots more laps, I think. A lot more, a lot more experience here, because I really haven't raced here all too often. Or for that matter, with uh, too many tracks that kind of have this kind of short track, high line kind of feel, don't have enough experience with it, so I stand to do a lot better just by getting some laps on tracks like this. Irwindale, I think, is another one that's similar to this. I have almost no laps there at all. I don't even know if I do. Maybe, like, I've done one race maybe there. Don't run him over. Just kind of slow mid corner there. Broke my momentum. Hmm. So we get a second and a half behind us, that's nice. At least I'm not dealing with anyone doing anything too crazy behind me or anything. You can definitely get some slide job attempts here and some bad ones. People are too aggressive. So I'm glad I'm not dealing with that at least. Yeah, you can see how I'm inconsistent. Uh, oh, see how bad I am in English. 
Uh, you can see how inconsistent I am by my last lap speeds. Like, they're varying way too much, and that just tells me I have a lack of consistency. And, uh... If I could hit the laps better each time, I'd have a lot more speed. Uh, we got a pass attempt, potentially, going on up here. Gonna be real tough, but maybe it'll open a door for us. Nope. <laughs> pass attempt failed. At least for now. Almost contact there. Good consistency. Keep them coming. <laughs> this is tight. It makes for exciting racing for sure, but also a pretty white knuckle stressful experience for a driver. Trying to make passes. Oh, that was a that was almost a snap right there. It just kept turning. And it was hard to even feel it coming. That was a scary moment. The next car is I haven't seen... Oh! That was close. I was about to say I haven't seen any wrecks, and then it almost looked like they were about to wreck in front of me. But have not seen any wrecks yet. There's some smoke. Not sure what that is. Way overdrove it. And had to, like, park it on entry. That was bad. Bad driving, courtesy of me. Side by side again. Oh my god, that snap is so scary. Holy cow. Alright, held on to it again somehow. 10 to 1 ratio, that probably helped. To be able to counter steering out of it. I think I gotta focus on having the wheel less turned on a exit, so that way it's likely to snap like that. We got someone coming up behind. We better pick up the pace. Else we're gonna be the one trying to fight off someone coming up sideways. Someone in the wall up there, I think. Oh man. Ooh, it's almost in the wall. I feel like we're just inches from disaster. At any given moment. Oh my gosh, those guys in front of us. Trading paints. And I don't mean the software program. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they are so close. I am talking about them way too much. I need to focus on myself. We're right above them now because they're because of their battle. Oh, he slides up bad there. You can be able to take advantage. Keep down here. Outside, clear. Outside clear, nice. Seventh position. So we made a pass, all right. Like I said, not easy to do here. Obviously, we had some assistance. Um, the guy ahead being able to open that door, but was able to pull it off. That's good. I think that guy's falling off really bad. Probably why we were able to get it done. We have just a cluster of cars ahead. And a lap car. 13. She might be new to the arc of cars because she was just asking why the tech tachometer? Is that what you call it? Speedometer, whatever. 
why it was upside down, which Outside makes me think maybe they have not been in this car very often. Will that car be able to navigate? Oh boy, this is tough racing. Lap car staying high, not really what you want here. You kind of want the lap car to be low, but you can deal with it, maybe. Seventh position. Outside. Oh, for the lap car to back off, that would be great. Figured it out. Didn't lose too much time. Me and the car had both had to get around, so. I mean, lost there. Uh, relative, anyway. Car still feels okay, like, tire-wise. I think it's just still me having it needing to execute with the steering wheel. It's all that's gonna matter here. Seventh place, though. I'm feeling really good about that. Like I said, top ten was gonna be A-OK -okay with me, so happy with where I am. Don't spin out, though. Spin out bad. Oh, there's Jordan. Kinda creeping up on him. He might be having a side-by-side -side battle right now. Oh, Carnival. Whew, hands hurt. <laughs> Alright, man, I just, I can't get over how close guys are racing. It feels like Netcode's gonna assassinate a couple of people at any second, but... Yeah, I see they're like so close to each other. Getting held up a little bit here, everyone in this group, because they're side by side battle. Ooh, that looked. Oh my god. That looked bad. Seven going low. back of them. Oh my gosh. People are bumping into each other like crazy. We got some bumper cars here at IRP. Not going for it. No, we had a bit of a run. It's not enough. Attacked. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> in like the deconstructed sense of the word, as in like standing in pure amazement at what is unfolding ahead. Not like, hey, that was amazing, that was great. More like, I'm amazed at what I'm seeing. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making any sense. back a little bit there. I was kind of being tentative for a second because <laughs> they were so close to one another. Oh, big loose. And he's going to block me. I. That was a dangerous move. He decided to pull there. Although it would have been kind of a dive bomb if I went for it, so 
That's why it didn't. One of the peak, though. Never know. Point eight behind us. That's a little concerning. Not left was at twenty four point two. Incredible racing, though. Oh, he's up in the wall, maybe. Up there. He's turning down on me. Turning down on me. Okay. Are your car stopped up top? There's too much happening right now. He's in the wall again, I'm ahead. Right foot hurts just because of how strict I'm having to be with exactly how much throttle I'm putting in. I'm really tense. It's a workout. I don't think I'm gonna be able to pass him. Even if he gets to the wall. He might not even be, that might be a prediction code thing. Two laps remaining. That was at twenty four point one. What flag this time? I swear he's getting in the wall for real, though. I think he lost some speed there. I think that was the real deal. White flag, last lap. You've just done it. 24.0. That's right. We're going for it. Still there. Outside if you <laughs> well, I tried. Didn't want to hit him, of course. But at least wanted to make a move. I knew I wasn't going to get up into him, so. Good job. Very good job. All right, I'm muted. That's right. Devin, I wasn't trying to like rub you up. There's there's barely enough room for two cars there. And when you're pinching me down, like, it's going to happen. Why did that happen? Okay. That was some intense racing, guys. Good job. That was fun. Yeah, good race. Actually, some of that didn't count. Thank you. I figured the race was over, but... <laughs> people wrecking each other, I guess. Oh, well. As long as it doesn't count, I don't really care. <laughs> because we got a P7! All right, very happy with that. Uh, especially as the 5 car actually had some... Yeah, I'm watching back a couple of those highlight, highlights between the two and the two and three, and y'all are just having some close racing, man. Just try, just try, just try, just try. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna wait. Like, I mean, he was holding me up real bad. <laughs> uh, two and three know, yelling man. at each other. Like, you got two. Uh, you got enough room for two cars here. You want to touch a little bit? It's racing. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear any of that. I was just. I think both of y'all did a good job with what you got. I mean. Now we're late in the game. Times are tough. Dude, that's what I'm saying. I was having fun. Crazy. Clean for how intense that was. Only three people with four X's. Interesting. So, we will check out the incidents. Maybe we'll see some things, why guys are upset, but... Looked like it was just super intense, really hard to pass. If, it, uh, maybe the three was upset or something. I don't know. Of course, we almost definitely didn't see everything that happened, so. 13 in the wall there. Are they gonna come down and hit him? No. I know she gets into trouble at some point. She's one of the people that yeah, had four good hard racing. I went back even further, and y'all were giving each other room, just a couple times, I mean, you can't really control it, 
Like, it's so easy to just, like, drift up as well. Yeah, man, like, that was really good racing. I, I can't believe he was upset about that. I had you guys muted the whole time. I, didn't, I wouldn't have guessed anyone was upset. I mean, I thought you guys were going to get assassinated by Netcode at some point, how close you were, but I didn't see anything wrong, really. It was just really hard short track racing, I saw. Oh, I know, man. Maybe, uh, he, he had to just been upset. Probably close. He burned his tires a little bit. I got around him. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see anything. So there's what happens maybe, to these Maybe that was just frustration. Uh, short track racing. Oh, I know, man. And Michael, you're really lucky, dude. You're lucky I finished back here. I was going to keep like eight seconds. <laughs> they must be friends. They make jokes about that. Definitely, bro. Definitely. I don't really think that you were. So 19 dives in way too hard <laughs> takes out the 17. And then unfortunately, 13. She's you have to pay for you for sure, man. Bad place. <laughs> well, last night, uh, I think you had about three seconds on me. The race Derek one. I gotta figure out where to get those three seconds. Yeah, but you've seen my race average now, right? Like I'm, I'm, a, I'm averaging like low five, high fours every race now. Just some wall hits. I'm kind of just listening yeah, to what my they're goal saying. Yeah, now is just to get in the five. So I, I've really figured out the line here, and it's working pretty well. Even my tires aren't bad. Actually, I forgot to check. Let me see. I have to see what line the one was taking. See what he's up to. The winner of this race. Yep, that was a 77.82. Man, you're ripping it out of, out of the corners, aren't you? Yeah, I've started to because cause, 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 uh, normally my right front is like fucking 70 and right rear is 87, so now I'm trying to even it out. And that's what's making me better. Yeah, I'm guessing you just really have to be aggressive on exit, even Maybe though it's I'm loose, and you can I'm probably get on the right rear and, and do that job. Rear coming out of the turn. I'm definitely making the looseness of the car work for me, that's for sure. Like, I'm, I'm really trying to get the front end around and just oh trying to rip it off the wheel on the way out. Pretty much what? every turn. I have to see this 9 on the wheel. I have to, to see. <laughs> Sorry. I have to see how much they were turning their wheel here to save that thing. Well, he's kept in it and made it harder for themselves, but they figured it out. I knew that was going to look wild. But you're going to break five, etc. Oh, yeah, I bumped up to 16 to 1. I just found like I was, I was saving the right front a little bit better that way. Are you still doing 12? Yeah, I'm, I'm 12 to 1, negative 5, and 6 to 7 and a half. And it works pretty good for me. I say 67. Jeez, you're good. Maybe I. Okay, okay, next. I got 62. Where's your brake bias at? I was running at 64. So they're running higher brake bias, that's interesting. Yeah, I would turn it up a little bit. Even I'm lower than Garrett, but I think that is a little bit too low. Really? Alright, I'm gonna try it then. Sounds I like next time if I try this again, I want the brake bias up higher. Man, I'm getting the tips here. I'm just you like... I'll be here all night. <laughs> I'm absorbing this. You didn't have to say anything. I already knew it. As a third party. <laughs> see you there, dude. Oh, see you there, dude. I figure if the race winner's talking, it's probably a good idea to listen. So that's why I was kind of eavesdropping there. Uh, maybe get a couple tips, ideas on uh, how I could maybe improve next time. I would have assumed get the brake bias lower for turn end, but it doesn't sound like that's the way to go. So interesting. I'll have to experiment with the brake bias up higher. He said 67. He said 64 was probably too low. So interesting. So so far in the incidents, it's just been a lot of wall hits for the most part, which isn't too surprising because. Uh, and what did we have here? Two guys upset at each other? They have a end of the race kerfuffle? I don't know. Looks like the four is really trying to get by. I mean, even going to the apron there on lap 48 comes up and eh, they, they miss each other. And the nine cut down a little bit. They're racing hard. 
Like, it can be really frustrating here, but, like, that's just kind of the way it is. Like, the lines are so equal and it's so hard to pass. Man, they're going hard. And the tire's up, so... I don't know, they, uh, maybe it was just a... Maybe they know each other and they're just messing around at the end there, but... <laughs> I got to be an innocent bystander, but again, didn't count for safety rating anything, so who cares? Um, we pulled in to P7, got the top 10 I was hoping for. I said I'd be thrilled with it, and I am. I even moved forward. I expected to fall back, honestly, so... Absolutely okay with that. Zero X and a surprisingly clean race, given how close everyone has to drive with each other. So I will take it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I feel like I learned some things. Maybe next time we come back here, I'll bump that brake bias up a little bit and uh, maybe get some more practice in driving it off the right rear, being aggressive on exit while still not uh, <laughs> looping it. So we'll see. Uh, I will see you next time. I appreciate you and I hope you have a good one. See ya.